Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Button VR. A game that was released on the Steam Store February 3rd, 2023. And Button VR is basically a physics race course game. And if you're wondering, wow, this looks awfully familiar, Fast Lawyer, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a game based on the Virtual Reality Game Kit. <laughs> and as you guys know, I recently gave a negative review to another game like this. Uh, called Mars Earth Mars VR, but that one was, was $10, this is $5. And so far this seems maybe not as imaginative as Earth Mars VR, but it seems to be more polished. And uh, let's go ahead and let's do some levels. I am playing stand. I have no idea why my standing is messed up, though. Uh, yeah, I have no idea why. It shouldn't be that messed up, but but it is. Now, the different colored coded blocks have different properties. Maybe you can tell, maybe you can't, but basically the the blue one I could grab, the white one I can't. So I can't grab this, but I can still use my arms to get over it or climb over it. I just can't grab onto it. So uh, you do automatically stand, but again, I don't know why, my, why I'm not set properly. Uh, I'll worry about that later. Uh, this is one of my courses that I just didn't like. <laughs> you can technically play this game seated. I don't recommend it. It's going to be a whole lot more difficult if you play seated, but it is possible. I just don't recommend it. I think I've said this before about Unreal Engine Virtual Reality Game Kit. Uh, it does have a seated mode. And I'll show this settings, I guess, in a little bit after I finish this, I guess. I better hurry up before time runs out. Oh, no. Time is running out. No, time is running out. Oh, we got it. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, you can't grab this one block, but as you can see, I'm still able to put my arms and basically move across like this without having to grab it. Okay. Now, this is one level that actually makes you think. I mean, it's not complicated. But basically, I think you have to move this cube. I don't think I've gotten this far. By, by the way, I think this is the last level that I did, so... We're on to levels I haven't done, but I had looked at this level earlier and it looked to me like I knew the I knew the solution, but I didn't actually solve it. But it looks like something that I could do. And the tricky part is getting the knives. That's the tricky part. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh really? Really? Come on. How is that fair? How is that fair? Okay, let's try it again. Oh god, move. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go well, did it? Okay, let's try it again. Let's try the smaller one. I don't think I really need to reach that high. Oh my god. Well, so much for that. We're gonna have to use this one now. Oh, well. We're gonna see if we can actually... I don't know that we can. We're gonna have to suicide, I think. So again, let's try this. Okay, and again, we're going to try to do this. Oh, come on. Oh. So one of the problems is that the knife goes out too easily. 
Oh, come on, we're gonna have to find a way, figure out a way to do this. Maybe if I use my right hand. I think I know what I need to do, but oh, come on. Oh, I, I almost got it that time. Oh, I think I just, yeah, it just the knife just slips out too easy. I need to like go at an angle, I think. If you're at the wrong, yeah, if you go like this, it's gonna slip out, but if you go like this, it won't. So we just need to, oh yeah, we got it. <laughs> We're gonna run out of time though. Come on, we have to hurry up now because we took too much time. Come on, oh come on, no, don't do this to me. I think we best, I, I think, yeah, I think we did, yeah, we got it. Ah, oh, I wasn't sure. <laughs> so this game is obviously, if you're out of shape, can get you to start sweating, to start breathing deeply. And I'm definitely out of shape now. Whoa. I think what we need to do is tip it over. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to tip it over somehow. I don't know that we up. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the solution. And I don't, if you don't tip it over correctly, I guess you have to suicide. So yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you just have to get lucky. Okay, hopefully we do it this up. Oh, oh we're, we are pushing the wrong way. How did that happen? All right, let's try that again. Push this way. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Well, I don't know. If there's a, is there a certain way you're supposed to push? Am I pushing wrong? What's going on here? Let's let's try this. No, you know what? I thought I, I think I got it that time, but I fell off the edge. Ah, oh, come on. So, <laughs> so I think we just have to get lucky. Uh, I don't know. This is this just luck? Just gotta get the right bounce. Oh, there we go. And I should be able to just climb. Yep, climb right over. And yeah, it wasn't that difficult, was it? I don't know if there's any other way to beat the level. I think that's the only way. Okay, so as you can see, we have some interesting things going on here, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try without the knife and see how far we can get. Oh my god. So, I mean, I like Earth Mars just because I like the setup, the obstacles is better there this is more slow paced but I could definitely see some people enjoying this more it just depends on how you like your your obstacle courses uh, nope nope this is gonna be difficult I don't know how you do this okay maybe do it like this okay not like that nope like this maybe yeah, like this. This is how you do it. Okay. Oh, come on. So the knife is totally stuck. Okay. Yeah, so this is how you do it. Oh, come on. The knife The knife is so difficult to get it in and out. It's just, you know... Some of us uh, face that issue in life. Some of us don't. But yeah, it's a little tricky to get the knife in and out, in and out. Um, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> He's stuck. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know what to do now. Yeah, there's... I don't know what to do now. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, come on. There we go. We got to switch hands here. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. See, this is why I don't like the time, the time nature of this course. 
Where's the, where's the, oh. Yeah, this is, this is, can be frustrating. Like, yeah, we're gonna run out of, we're gonna run out of time. Oh, you could do this as well. Oh, well, do you even need the knife then? Let's see, let's try to do it without the knife. It seems like I can propel myself across, and that might be the best thing to do. And uh, my eyes are getting watery again, so ugh, I hate when that happens in VR. Again. <sighs> oh, we made it. We made it. Okay. You know what? We may not even need the knife if we just do this correctly. Oh, yeah, we don't, we don't need the knife. Yeah, we don't need the knife. Who needs a stink? Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. We got it. <laughs> so what's going on now? Whew. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think we just need the knife to get up, up high. Let me do this right-handed. Because I'm a righty. Oh, come on. In case you're wondering, there is no jump button. <sighs> Which... Oh, come on. Really? How can I... It... What's going on here, man? <sighs> okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> okay. So, you know, VRGK, Virtual Reality Game Kit for Unreal Engine, is a fun uh, toolkit, game kit. And, you know, you can make games out of it. The problem is that these games that people are making are just straight reskins of the game. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say there's no original element here. There, There is. Much like... Oh, crap. Ah, timber! <laughs> that did not go well for me. So again, I don't want to say there's no original elements and that it's just a straight ripoff and that there's no merit. But, you know, for the most part, you can play the virtual reality game kit demo and, you know, get the thing. Oh, come on. Jesus. Let me just climb it. It doesn't matter. I, but I think it's going to tip over. That's what I'm a little afraid of. Oh, well, that actually worked out in my favor that it tipped over. Okay, let me... There we go. Oh, come on. W what? Ah, there's, there's no way to jump. I'm just too low. Yeah, there's... Wait, is there a way to do this? Okay, there was a way to do this. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, crap. Okay, let's do this real quick. We're gonna run out of time here if we dawdle here. Come on. Oh, no. This is not gonna work. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Let's try that one more... T oh, my God. Let's try that one more time. Uh, I mean, it's only $5. So, you know, it's $5 less than Earth Mars VR, but I consider this almost the same as Earth Mars VR. You know, I think I liked Earth Mars a little bit, even though it was less polished and I faced a game-breaking bug there. But uh, th this seems a little bit more polished, a little bit more gamified put together, a little bit more thought out. So, you know, it... Oh, come on. So it has that going for it. Uh, it needs to tip forward. I don't know if there's... Is there a way to make it tip forward? Uh, 
Oh, oh. Okay, well, that wasn't the worst thing that could have happened. Maybe I should tip it forward f first before climbing it, but here we are. Okay, here we go. And there's just no way to do that. So I'm gonna have to drop down. Drop down here. Okay, and then move this. So what I need to do is move this forward. Move this forward. Move this forward. That can get on it then. Okay. That might have that might have worked, or it might be my 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 doom right here. Okay. Okay, got it. I got it just in time too. Wow. Wow. Okay, what's going on here? What's this one? So you know, this one does seem more thought out, more more polished. So I'm gonna give this one a neutral recommendation. My main problem with the game is not that it's not fun, it's not that it's not a nice game, it's that it's just it's virtual re reality game kit with very few changes to the formula. But the only changes is that, you know, there's color cut coded blocks that change what they do. You know, you can grab onto some of them. Uh, but it has a lot of the same problems that virtual reality game kit has. You know, the knives going through and not coming out, that's a problem with VRGK, that's a problem here as well. Uh, you know, the, the fact that when you land, you automatically stand up. Uh, yeah, what are you supposed to do here? Oh, there's... I didn't see this. Um, here, there, there is a crouch. You can push down in your joystick and basically crouch. Oh, God. Um, I think at this point I just, should, should just fall down. I don't know that I have enough time. But uh, now that I know, I can pick it up. Okay. And now I can try to climb it. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, yes, uh, my eyes are very watery right now. So I'm having trouble seeing as well. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I've been... My eyes have been very watery the past few days. I don't know if it's allergies or what's going on. But here we go. We got it. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh. Um, whew, this one looks tough. This one looks tough. I have. I think you're supposed to like build a, a way to get up there. And uh, that, this might take a while. I don't know if I want to end the video here. I think you guys get the point of button VR. Obviously, the levels are getting trickier, and, you know, there is some... there. I do like that there's some thought process put in here in these levels. So it's not just like a basic reskin of VRGK. My problem, though, is still that it's just too much VRGK. Like, they're, they're using the physics from VRGK and just putting some goals there. And, you know, maybe putting some puzzles in there as well. But it's to me, it's just doesn't have enough originality. There is some originality here, but just not enough. The bones are still all, all VRGK. And if you've played the demo to VRGK, then you know what this game plays like. Um, but I do like here that they're, they're making you build something. But again, this, this isn't VRGK. It's just a different colored coded blocks kind of change up the gameplay. Although I think even in VRGK, there's different materials that so it basically works the same. So it's not really that much different than VRGK, if I'm being honest. But I do like the way the levels are laid out. The, the You know, there's some nice short levels with clear goals, clear times. And so it's more gamified. So it is, I would say, a little bit more more gamified than VRGK and more polished as far as the gaming experience. Since VRGK is more like a sandbox. Um, and for $5, that is a low price. Um, so I'm going to give this a neutral 5.5 .5 out of 10 recommendation. Um, I think there's enough here to give at least a neutral recommendation. But if you played VRGK, then a lot of this will feel very familiar. And probably this gameplay won't be as exciting for you. And that's that's how I feel, you know. Yeah, I do like how there's some nice little uh, wrinkles thrown in there. But they're just wrinkles. And I'm not sure that's worth $5. So, uh, 
This is Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play initial impressions for Button VR. I, I did buy this game. Uh, again, it normally resells for $5. I bought it on the release sale, so I think I only paid $4 for it. So it, for the price, it's it's not bad. And it, it is a fun game, especially if you haven't played with VRGK. This, this might be very fun for you. You know, the physics are, like I said before, they're nice for VRGK. They're not great. You know, they're not the most realistic physics, but they're nice. They're, they're good bones for making a good VR game. Um, unfortunately, many devs haven't done that with VRGK, and this is just another VRGK game. I would say it's better than a lot of the other VRGK games I've played. I would say the Backrooms is still probably the, the best one that uses VRGK. I forgot the exact name of it, but I think it's called the Backrooms VR, if I'm not mistaken. There's so many different Backroom games in VR, though, that I forget which one's which. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions for Button VR. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.